what up green kitties happy saturday well it's going on 11 o'clock so yeah it'll be sunday soon anyways i hope you guys were having a beautiful saturday um i've been home all day today and i think yesterday I didn't really go out. I didn't dye my hair. I just kind of been tripping. I'm in my theater right now. Hopefully, you guys can see me <coughs> and hear me. Um, yesterday, me and the kids and the family, we just had movie night. Um, I rented a lot of movies on TV that was out. Ambulance. Um, it was really, really good. It's a new movie that's out on Voodoo. You gotta pay for it, but it was really good. We did Batman. They stay not really into Batman. And don't talk about my thing back there, y'all. Don't worry about that. What's up, green kitties? Meow. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. Okay. Anyway, um, what else? Uh we watched three. Ambulance, Batman. Oh, and Marry Me. That's that new movie with um, Jennifer Lopez. I like her when she acts. I even like, she has some of her music playing in this movie. It was really good. I never really fuck with her music unless she's, you know, singing with a, a rapper or somebody. Um, but she has a song that I kind of like that in the movie. It was kind of cool. But anyway, I like her acting. You know what I mean? She like, she's cool. So anyway, uh, Marry Me was pretty good. All the movies except Batman, uh, which I've never been a Batman fan. I prefer Spider-Man over Batman. I don't know. Batman shit just always just, I don't know. I couldn't get into it. The kids seemed like they couldn't either. Um, matter of fact, that's one movie we haven't finished. It's still, um, you know, waiting for us to finish it. But anywho, I, uh, my kids are relaxing. I just ordered some mcdonald's from grubhub no uber eats and so um i said you know what let me get up on here and say hey to you guys you know let y'all see my face you know but like i told you guys um my friend is here and when my friend is here it's not safe for me to go outside you know i be my patience is so short when she gets here She's a whole new person, like, when she get here, okay? She's non-tolerant when she gets here. So, I try to keep myself at home until my friend leaves so I won't, you know, get out of line with nobody or disrespect nobody. You feel me? Like, I always tell you guys, you know, be, you know, so be self-aware. You feel me? So, if you know you act a fool when this bitch come, stay in the house, Stay in the goddamn house. And so that's what I do. I stay in the house, okay? Because I'm easily irritated. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. So I stay in the house. And the beautiful thing about it is I'm only... She only here for three days. So I can stay in the house for three days. Right? Right. Anyway, that ain't what I came on here to talk to y'all about. I came on here to say hello. Hi. Um, I need to get some lights in my house. I know you, y'all. While I'm talking about lights, why did the whole power go out? And like it said, two thousand four hundred and eighty nine people where I live at power went out. Not for long, like three hours. But I didn't panic, y'all. I just um put up my light, my light, my um electric people up and gave them the address and then it told me what was going on in my neighborhood and when you know things should be up and running so it happened at five o'clock and they said by seven but i had already sent now i do have a generator um i just i have one uh, i have bought it because when i had my son's birthday party um uh, about a year ago it, i had a lot going on and and i had uh just a lot a lot of shit going on i mean i had all type of shit going on for his birth birthday party you guys i spent like twenty five thousand dollars on his fifth birthday party i was tripping okay it will never happen again because the nigga can only name a hundred and fifty dollars worth of shit he remembered okay so never again never again anyway um, so anyways, I had had all that going on, I, and, 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 and the shit wasn't, where, like, some shit was getting cut off, and things like that, like the DJ, and the, 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 uh, the, 
cotton candy machine so we had to hurry up go get the go buy a generator and so that's why i have one but anyway i didn't start the generator i kind of just wanted to wait and see i told my husband to get some flashlights or whatever but by the time he was out went to the store i called him and told him everything's back on if i'm talking funny y'all my mouth is hurting um it's been hurting i don't know why i've been taking my antibiotics i've been taking my uh, rash shit my thrash mouth medication and if you guys can notice my lips are getting better y'all oh, oh, oh i was so happy do you guys see them praise be the lord praise be the lord y'all like they're getting look y'all i'm able to open my mouth and talk god is so good right mm -mm -mm -mm. so anyway i've been you know using my things like that but anyway the lights went out basically not long by the time he came by the time i called him i told him well he ain't got to get nothing because they're back on so that that was good that that was real good but i wasn't panicking i know i knew that i had a generator i also knew i have money for a hotel i knew that you know what i'm saying like yeah i'm not gonna stress out you know shit anyway so that was that but i'm glad i didn't have to you know do all of that i just had to be patient and move around a little bit and, and pop down uh, i don't know what caused it uh I, I don't but yeah it just happened my neighbors couldn't open their garage you know whatever it was a big thing but that's not why I came on here, y'all. I came on here because I wanted to talk about something, okay? And what I wanted to talk about was, uh, it was a, a lady who, and the reason why I'm talking about this, number one, because it's my channel, but number two, I like to talk about things that I see and I feel like I can talk about it, you know what I mean? So I want to talk about it. So listen, Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. It was a lady who had a tummy tuck, I think, and some booty done. Uh, a, a BB, whatever. She wouldn't got a booty done and her, and her stomach flat. And um, in the uh, Dominican Republic. And she passed away. And so once I got more of the story... Come to find out, she had had a, a gastric bypass surgery, which is called, which it's different ones, but the one she have is called a sleeve. Now, you guys know I've been speaking on it uh, recently. I normally don't speak on it, but I've been speaking on it recently because I like to give y'all full information when I'm speaking about, uh, you know, things on my body. So you guys can know how my body is working due to my surgery. Anyway. So, uh, coming to find out under, you know, under, once I saw more about what was going on, she had got a, a, a gastric bypass, like I said, which is a sleeve. A sleeve is where all they do is cut your stomach back into the shape it was supposed to be. So, uh, basically, like a banana. They, they shape, they, they cut your stomach into a banana. That is what a sleeve is um that's all they do okay because you know when we eat and we eat we make our stomach big it stretches and so all they do is just put it back to how it's supposed to be i didn't get a sleeve my mother got a sleeve but um i was young like i told you guys when i got up i have i've had my surgery now 10 years but um, I was young and I told the person who did my surgery, I want the best that you have, the most expensive one you have, and I don't ever want to get fat again. So that's why mine is a little more um, rough is because I got the one where I is if I do get fat. It is. I, I had to work very hard at it. Okay, I have to. I have to work very hard to get back fat again. It won't allow you to get back fat again, and that's what I wanted. What's the point of having a surgery if you can get back fat? Now the sleeves and the um and the uh it's a, it's three of them. It's called the phobie. But is there the phobie pouch? It's the sleeve and it's the band. 
the bands and the sleeves, you can get back big again. Because all you got to do is just eat, continue to keep eating the way you was, and your stomach will just go back up again. It does, it, it, it's nothing, and then the band, the same thing. It's nothing that keeps you there. You know, you really have to have self-control to keep your weight down with that. It just assists you, just helps you. For me, I said, nah, fuck that. Go ahead, doctor. I don't ever want to get fat again. So that's why he cut 30% of my stomach out, rerouted my intestines, put a lifetime band on me. This is why I got the extreme because I did not want to get fat again. What is the purpose of getting a surgery? And I didn't know if I had the obedience to not eat like that no more. I, I didn't know. And I didn't, you know, I didn't know. So anyway, and I'll tell you guys, if you guys want to know, if you guys are curious about you know all what the differences is from that to that i'm very open in in my surgeries a surgery that i had but again moving forward so anyway so she had the sleeve they said she had the sleeve and then six months later she went to the to the Demic republican and went and got her stomach done and her booty done and she's passed away so i don't know exactly why she is not here no more i don't know what was you know i don't know if it has something to do with her complications due because she had all these surgeries so fast due to if the doctor did something wrong i'm not too sure so i'm not going to put too much on this story of my you know uh of that because it could have been him it could have been the doctor it could have been where she went it could have been it could have been her body i don't really know i'm not too i don't know yet so i don't want to do that and i'm definitely not you know blaming her i'm not but i do want to talk because i think i can talk in this area okay a lot of people now is starting to get money that they never had before or never thought they would have before due to the PPOs and this and that, right? And so now that some people have money that they thought they wasn't going to have or whatever, now they are, they want to do shit. They want to, you know, now they got the bag, now they got the money. They want to do what they've always been dreaming about doing, right? What I... And it without really thinking about it, right? So my old heads know when I got my money, I'm not talking about no PPO, um, but when I got my money, you guys know I have a video, if you look back in my videos, where I went and put money down on titties. And I was going to get a mommy makeover. I was going to get my titties done in my stomach i was never going to get a booty because uh oh let me say this before i say this some people think hold on y'all y'all be quiet and get out my hallway i want to i want to say this real quick before i finish on um some people get their bodies done to get attraction get niggas get money get get all this and some women like me want to get it because they it's certain things that the gym can't do for instance my breast when i had i've always i always had big breast nice big breast but when i got the gastric bypass I lost the tissue in my breast and my titties start hanging. There's no amount of exercise that will get my titties to be set up the way I need them to sit up. It just, it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm going to need surgery, right? So that is why I chose to get titties, my stomach. Somehow, if you guys have ever seen me, I'm a skinny person, but I have a, I still have a, a piece of tummy, and I believe it's due to me having two C sections. It seemed like once I had that C section, they cut that belly open. It's like I have a C section, C section pouch. That's what it feels like to me. So I wanted to get that down, okay? And I wanted to do it because.